Yo what's up guys Aptrix here and the windows emulation keeps on getting better for android devices. In today's video we'll be taking a look at the brand new version of Winlater C mode android 13.1 which was released just yesterday on its official open source github. C mode officially the best windows emulator for android gets major performance improvements. Basically this update was known as Winlater C mode performance unleashed but at the time of filming this video the developer has edited the release and just made it Winlater C mode 13.1. Maybe the performance unleashed part was clickbait who knows but let's take a look at the change log you guys can see some internal changes have been made which results in a massive reduction in cpu overhead and significant performance improvements on low end android devices box 64 3.2 as well as 3.6 are now compatible and have been restored along with that als reflector has been improved universal cpu overhead reduction which makes the performance much better in winlater c mode along with that new feature has been added stability and bug fixes improvements are present in this version of winlater c mode now winlater c mode is officially the best windows emulator for android devices that you can actually try out i'll talk why later on in this video but proton 10 support has also been added along with that updated assets and the developer has said that you need to make new containers after updating to this newest version of winlater c mode with all of that out of the way let's just go ahead and launch winlater later c mode afterwards tap on the allow button afterwards you guys can see some of the information such as system update required so we'll need to tap on the continue button afterwards wait for few seconds until the win later c mode has been successfully updated once the update is completed tap on ok afterwards enable this option now the setup of the simulator will take around one to two minutes on high-end devices but on low-end device it might take a lot of time and win later c mode mali gpu test video is coming out pretty soon so make sure to hit that like button subscribe and on all notification with all of that out of the way you guys can see lot of settings are here in winlater c mode making it the most highly customizable windows emulator for android devices you can even add your game save states which is really amazing directly in the saves feature i'll talk more about it but first of all let's start off by creating a container and then i'll talk about the additional settings screen size will go with 800 by 600p wine version will set it to default in terms of graphics driver we have either wrapper or wrapper version 2 now wrapper version 2 is the brand new wrapper graphics driver and in terms of graphics driver version make sure to select it as system graphics driver if you have a snapdragon 8 elite processor android device or a mali gpu android device in terms of if you have normal snapdragon devices like snapdragon 7 series 6 series etc then make sure to use the latest turnip 25.3.0 revision 3 once that has been done you guys can see use adreno tools turnip has been tick marked so make sure to tap on ok and in terms of dx wrapper we'll be going with the dx synchronous 1.10.3 after simply tap on the ok button in terms of wine d3d dd draw is set to wine d3d after that everything you can keep it as default enable show fps and also enable full screen stretch now here you guys can see renderer is set to vulcan now if you want to play games like gta 5 currently uh, there is a bug in GTA 5 where you'll need to set the renderer to GL and then only GTA 5 will work. That has been addressed on the official release. If there are any issues then set renderer to GL to launch GTA 5. Now I want to test out GTA 5 in today's video so, so I have set the renderer to GL. Video memory size I'll set it to 4GB. GPU name will keep it as default. Afterwards we'll go to advanced box 64 version is 0.3.7. Preset will set it to performance. Startup selection set it to essential. The aggressive startup selection has been removed now. For some reason and everything else make sure to keep it as default tap on the tick mark and your container will be created now we'll tap on these three lines go to settings and here we'll choose the performance box 64 preset okay tap on edit and set the safe flags level to zero once that's done make sure to tap on tick mark go to your container settings once again go to advanced and choose the box 64 preset as the performance one preset that we just created afterwards simply tap on add button and select the place where you have stored your pc games after all of that your win later android's latest high performance container will be successfully set up we can go to settings and here once again you get the saves feature where you can simply tap on the plus button and create a save file for the game that you want to play for example if you are playing gta 5 you can locate the save folder we also get controller manager option as i mentioned before you can play games with your friends using the latest controller overhaul feature where you can connect multiple controllers and play pc games on your android device but let's put all of that out of the way let's just go ahead and launch our latest win later container and here we'll tap on don't show again we'll tap on ok the container may take some time to launch but once it has successfully launched at the left side of your screen you will also see some input controls such as the input controls option we'll go to settings here we'll tap on import profile go to the second option and make sure to import the gta 5 on screen input touch control profile 
tap on the ok button. Once that's done, we'll go back, we'll go back once again and tap on the ok button. Now we'll tap on the start button to see if the test D3D has been added but no guys still test D3D is not here. We'll just go ahead and skip it and try out Grand Theft Auto 5 to see if it works or if we still get the social club error issue which was present in all the win later C mode versions for some reason. So here we go our game is about to boot as you guys can see Grand Theft Auto 5 GTA loading screen and towards the left side of your screen you'll see lot of overlays. Uh, that's basically my bad but here we go still we are seeing the social club error so this game is not going to work. That's why we'll just go ahead and enable input touch control tap on the enter button. Let's try out Assassin's Creed Rogue instead. We can also try out God of War 2018 which I'll check out later on in this video but here we go Assassin's Creed Rogue has successfully started within few seconds. Ubisoft saving etc. So the game booting speed has improved quite a lot and for some reason you guys can see like there is still this on screen touch control disappearing issue. I have no idea why it disappears randomly. But we'll just go ahead and press the enter button and start our game. Meanwhile, when the game is starting, I have also enabled the gyroscope motion control. So once I press the L1 button, the gyroscope mode will activate and it will apply to the right stick. So let's tap on the OK button. Swipe back, go to input touch controls and enable the virtual touch controls. I have pressed the L1 button now. So let's hope that the gyroscope will be working in Assassin's Creed Rogue. That's what I am very interested and curious to see. A PC game running on our Android device with gyroscope control. So here let's see I am moving or tilting my screen around. But still the screen is not moving. Let's go to input controls once again. Enable the virtual gamepad. And I am pressing the L1 button but motion control is not working. Am I missing something? As you guys can see gyroscope activation button is L1. Regardless though as you can see we are playing Assassin's Creed Rogue on our Android device inside the latest version of WinLater Android. The WinLater C mode 13.1 and you guys can see the graphics are really amazing. Not just the graphics the performance is also super impressive. We are getting straight up 60 FPS no frame drops at all at least on my Snapdragon 8 Elite processor Android device. Let's try out our next game which is going to be God of War 2018. Here we go guys our God of War has successfully started Sony Interactive Entertainment presents the PlayStation Studios. Now we recently tested out this game inside the Game Hub emulator and I was getting around uh, 25 to 30 FPS. So let's see if we get the same amount of performance from WinLater Android because Game Hub emulator is too OP in terms of performance. The performance in Game Hub emulator cannot be compared to that of WinLater Android but still we'll be comparing it cause why not. Let's tap on the enter button and let the game begin. I want to see if the performance improvement are greater than that of Game Hub emulator and certainly I can see towards the top left side of the screen we are actually getting more FPS than what we get in Game Hub emulator but there are also more stuttering issues. The frame drops are major like it goes from 35, 36, 37 FPS directly to 25 FPS. While I am saying this it's not dropping down in FPS but here we go it dropped down whereas in Game Hub emulator the FPS is overall stable. Anyways as you can see our game is running properly though there are graphical issues it is the fault of the uh, processor which I have on my Android device and not the fault of the emulator. If you have turnip driver uh, supported Snapdragon processor Android device you will not get any graphical issues in God of War PC game. Well that's going to be it for today's video guys thanks for watching hit that like button subscribe turn on notification I'll see you guys next time goodbye.